Postpartum depression affects about 400,000 women in the United States every year. The FDA has just approved the first drug developed specifically for severe depression after childbirth. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton talking with local experts about this drug, and she joins us live with what she learned. Lisa. Well, Lee, the drug is called Zilreso. It's an IV drug given over the course of several days. Now, one of the biggest advantages is how quickly it works, but it comes with a hefty price tag. Tiffany Potcotter is a ProMedica psychiatric nurse practitioner. Her office started getting calls about the new drug today. We have lots of ways to treat depression. We have our antidepressants. We have support groups. We have counseling, and this is just one more tool we can use as an option. About one in every nine women suffer from postpartum depression in the U.S. It often ends on its own in a couple of weeks, but the more severe cases can go on for months. According to the manufacturer, Zolreso's active ingredient is a derivative of the naturally occurring hormone progesterone. Progesterone levels can plunge after childbirth. It's more than just baby blues. It's actually intense sadness, hopelessness, lack of concentration. Dr. Daniel Rapport is a professor of psychiatry at the University of Toledo Medical Center. He's treated numerous cases of postpartum depression during his more than 30-year career. Women who are severely depressed can't care for themselves and can't care for their babies. Um, and many times they have thoughts about suicide, or even thoughts of harming their children. In a company-funded study of new moms with moderate or severe postpartum depression, half the women given Zolreso had their depression end in about two and a half days. And experts say that is one of the biggest advantages. Sometimes the older treatments can take weeks to work. Some say one of the biggest drawbacks of the drug is price. Zolreso could cost as much as $34,000 per treatment without insurance. But Dr. Rapport is hopeful that number will... They are now working on a pill, um, and the pill will be much less expensive, I expect. The most common side effects of the new drug were sleepiness, dizziness, and headaches. A few women had more serious problems like fainting and loss of consciousness. Because those risks can result in injury, the FDA is restricting the, drug, to the drug's use to health care facilities so women can be closely monitored throughout the infusion. Now, the plan is to begin selling the drug in late June. Reporting live, Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC Action News.